Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. You join me in the latest generation of Mini Countryman. Now I've been lent this car by Mini Chandlers in Halsham for the next couple of days. So this car is very different from anything else Mini do. So I'm going to find somewhere to park up. We're going to have a look around the outside, have a look around the tech and practicality of this car and then see what we can get in the boot of this car. At the end of the day, it's a crossover, needs to be large. How practical is the Countryman going to be? One of the main reasons you get a Countryman is because you want the extra room. Now this car is competing against the likes of the BMW X1 and you could see it's considerably bigger than the standard three-door Cooper hatch. Now you've got a button on here so you don't have to get your hands dirty when you actually open the boot. So you press that, opens up and you're greeted with 350 litres of storage room. Now the standard mini three-door hatch has 210 so already it's considerably bigger. So when we have a look inside, we've got a little net to put things. We've got a little strap. We've got a charging point. We've got tons of tethering points. We've got some storage under here. And this leads me to another, not sure if it's useful. What do you guys think? There's the mini picnic seat. So that folds out and you can, you can have a little sit down and survey the countryside because that's honestly the sort of thing you'll be doing. Well, um, let's put that away. So just lift it up and drop it down. Now, if you've got more luggage to fit in, we can lower down the seats and that will give you 1170 litres of room. So let's have a go at that. We've got some suitcases handily over this side. So, this is a sort of a standard size suitcase and it fits fine there. Look at that, plenty of room for a single suitcase. But if you do need a bit more room, we can lower down the seats. So let's take that out, put that over there. We'll take the parcel shelf off and lower that down there. So we're gonna have to go inside if you follow me. Now inside, to lower the seats, this took me a few minutes to actually find out where they were. You've got these um, like fabric pull things down here. So you give them a yank and the seats lower down. So you've got one there, but you can obviously split them. So now you could fit all of this extra room and have a person here. Do that and you've, you've got all of that extra room. So you can imagine now, well, that suitcase fits easily. And if by magic, we have another one. And you've still got bucket loads of room. So you could have two of those in there and even have a little, little lie down in the back. I have no idea why you'd be lying in the back, but you can if you really fancy it. So now there's a button up here so you don't get your hands dirty again. Press that, lowers down. And that is the practicality, all of that extra room of the Mini Countryman. Welcome to the inside of the Mini Countryman. Now, the outside is significantly different from, I think, all of the other cars in the Mini range. But in here, this is traditionally Mini. So the thing that greets you most obviously is the large infotainment system here. This is, comes with upgraded uh, live traffic reports, a few other things as well. But with this model, you get that as standard. You can upgrade to the 8.8 .8 inch version of the screen. That's another 2,700 pounds. 
The steering wheel as well, this is traditionally, it feels the same. Left hand side we've got uh, buttons for the cruise control, right hand side you've got volume for the stereo, you've got voice control, so that's very familiar. This we've got the dual climate control, very nice indeed. We've got the park assist, so you flick that on, drive along until it tells you to stop and then it automatically parks it for you, great. Heated seats, which is perfect for this time of year. Start, stop. USB for your iPhone or whatever. It's a bit strange in the back. You've got USB-C, but we've got, but doesn't really matter, I suppose. We've got two cup holders. This particular model's got the six-speed uh, semi-automatic box. Down here, we've got the controls for the infotainment system. Like I was saying earlier, this is basically the BMW iDrive, so it's very well designed. Interestingly, the, the air vents in here and all the other minis, they're round. These are rectangular. I don't know why. But overall, I think this is a nice place to be. It's very well finished. Oh, head up display, forgot about that as well. So that shows your speed and map directions, maybe a few other things. But in summary, it feels like a mini on the inside. Very well built comfortable, everything logical. The outside obviously very different. I've reviewed a few of the minis now and the one area which they've been okay at was rear legroom. Now this Countryman I think addresses those issues. I've got the driver's seat which is my position, I'm six foot. Passenger seat is in the same place so there's plenty of legroom in the front. In the back, this is wonderful, my knees aren't even touching the seat. I've got my feet underneath, so I'd be very comfortable. And to make yourself even more uncomfortable, comfortable even, <laughs> um, there's these little toggles, the ones I showed you earlier on to recline the seats. You can do that and then uh, you can go all the way back or if you want to be a bit more upright, you can be. Underneath as well, not sure if you can see sort of down there, there's these little handles and you can, squeeze forward or back so you can get oh this is really good it's really surprising how how much room there is down here we've got two uh, usb usb c charging ports that's a bit of an unusual choice um we've also got two air vents as well isofix for three child seats and loads of headroom as well look at this I've got a good half a foot above me, so if you're seven foot, you may struggle a bit, but other than that, really good. I think this would be perfect for three adults or your family, a long journey. Well, very impressed, Mini. You've done a good job with this. Well, we've had a good look around this car, both on the outside, the inside, the technology and the practicality. So it'd be interesting to know, what's your opinion of this car? Do you like it? Is it practical? Is it the sort of thing you'd consider getting? And on that note, guys, I'm going to call this video to a close. It's been great having a look around this car and I want to say a massive thank you to Mini Chandlers in Halsham. Give the guys there a ring and you can take this car out for a 48 hour test drive. You can make up your own decision, you've seen what it's like, take it out for a test drive. You've got nothing to lose. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. And remember to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.